All right, we have some breaking news. 49ers Christian McCaffrey will be placed on short-term IR, and he will miss at minimum the, the next four weeks. Obviously, the situation with the Achilles definitely appears to be something that is not going away. We saw some of the clips from practices yesterday where he was not looking like Christian McCaffrey, didn't even look like he was getting up onto his toes. Um, and you, the body language, everything, it, it just did not seem right. And so obviously he wasn't out there to start practice today. You had John Lynch going to KMBR and to, to say that IR was a potential option, you know, you're like, okay, that, that feels, uh, a little bit like foreshadowing and sure enough, here we are, um, Christian McCaffrey will be placed on IR for a minimum of four weeks so i think this is a good thing obviously all things considered because we need to get christian mccaffrey healthy that's the number one thing and obviously we've seen with these the achilles tendonitis and tightness you know with Drake greenlaw just a year prior you saw how easy it was for that achilles to give and with christian mccaffrey a guy who runs the ball for a living that's the last thing you want is him to pop an Achilles. So if it's not right, you got to shut it down and you just got to give it time and you just have to get him off his feet and you have to allow it time to heal. And I know it's unfortunate. I know a lot of people are going to be bummed about it. And I know it's it. I'm, I feel for Christian. Uh, I know he struggles more with the injuries, of course, rather more than anyone else, because he's the one going through it. But I know a lot of people are going to be, you know, uh, feeling a certain type of way about the injury. But again, I do believe that this is the best thing for him. I believe it's the best thing for the team because now it opens up a roster spot. It allows them to go and uh, get some depth that I do think that they need because as it currently stands, it's Jordan Mason, Isaac Garendo, Patrick Taylor, that they need some more depth at the running back position. So uh, a name that instantly comes to mind is Matt Breida. Obviously, he was in training camp. We've saw him. We've seen him in preseason. He could be. He's a veteran. Uh, he could definitely be relied on. He has some speed. So um, it will be interesting to see how the 49ers uh, backfill some depth here. But again, I continue to believe that this is the right decision. If it's not right, if it's not healthy, you got to do what you got to do, man. And so with CMC, I do uh, hope that when he returns, he's good to go. And, and uh, I'm really hoping he's able to avoid you know, any long-term ramifications from this. Hopefully by the time he's ready to come back, he's actually ready. Um, I don't I, it feels like, you know, they were he was really trying to make himself available for week one and maybe uh, re aggravated uh, that situation as a result. But um, unfortunately, uh, it is what it is. And the 49ers are going to be out with without CMC for a while now. So hopefully uh, Jordan Mason can continue to do what he's been doing. And the 49ers are able to get some depth in there uh, to kind of back him up as well, because obviously Elijah Mitchell won't be coming through that door. Tough season, a uh, tough time to lose Elijah Mitchell for the entire year. I mean, obviously that's based on previous um, depth charts. That's your top two running backs uh, who are going to be out for a foreseeable time. Obviously Jordan Mason has made, a huge impact early and we expect the impact to continue but boy oh boy um tough one here for the 49ers tough one for cmc let me know what you guys think about all this stuff in the comments below and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates